Are you ready? Yep. Three, three. <sighs> Sweet. Do you want to go out there and um, pull? Okay guys, so we're here, um, ready to go on the Dusty, um, I've got the intercom going with Matt, and uh, we're going to be golden. Okay, so we're off. It's, uh, oh shit, I don't know what time it is guys, but it's probably not far after six, maybe quarter past six. Thank you mate, choke off. Remember get that blinker off too, dude. So guys here, yeah, we're just walk, going through past the golf course. We've got a bit of mist here. Um, and we've got a river crossing coming up and uh, we'll go right in behind that uh, man here. He can hear me because I've got the intercom. I can hear him laughing. Um, but we'll... We'll crank through this and then we'll go up onto the horizon, the ridge line that you can see in front of me. And we'll be going along that. And it's real awesome because you see the sun rising um, over on the old east coast of the South Island. And uh, she's all good. All good, Matt. Yeah, mate. It's actually quite low. He's right behind me. Where are you? Did you go through? Well, we got the first um, river crossing done, mate. Yeah, mate. Woohoo! I'll get him behind him for a little bit. Good shot, brother! Woo! Okay, guys, so we've uh, followed our instincts of where we used to go, and this is the the normal route, we've, they've changed it so the challenge goes a different way, so we're just heading back. You right there big boy? I wonder why these guys are cat turning back. I don't think we're going to miss much. Oh, look at these guys. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Slippery grass up here. Oh, I just missed fuck all, mate. Oh, I
Is it looking good there? Oh, you go down the track. Down here. Nice. Thanks, mate. Fucking Cena's, buddy. Okay, guys, so Fairley's down there. We're just working our way up here. Um, this is a new part. Um, they've just added a little bit of a challenge in, so that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I'm just on the side looking at guys coming up, so. Oh, yeah. Where's Dan? Oh, yeah. Well, you keep going past me and give me a toot or something so I can see you. And I'll, I'll carry on after you. Yeah, I see Dan. Yup. I was going, where's all the riders? <laughs> I'm just up here. <laughs> yeah, we did it easy, mate. The old DR tractor. Just chug, chug, chug up the hill. Oh, mate. <laughs> Lean forward. <laughs> nice one, mate. Nah, mate. All we've got to do now is get our butts dusted. Like Richo would say. Oh, we're still on the challenge, eh? I'll wait for you down on the road here. Lots of dust today, it's been really dry. Um, it's just awesome to be out and riding again on the dusty. Um, so we're coming through in, uh, near into Waimati soon. Um, and then we're going to work through some forestry stuff and farmland and over to Kurau. Grab some fuel and um, get a pie. This morning we did a, a challenge section that they've added in. Just a few little um, climbs and stuff. It was cool. Yeah, mix it up a bit. Um, so far so good on the DR. Um, still uh, used to my beta for obvious reasons, but this is just trucking away. And it's hard to see in the dust sometimes. Got to really back it off. Okay guys, so we are um, just in Waimati now. Um, this is where you can get wi um, wallaby pies. So they're a pest introduced, I don't know when, maybe Matt knows, um, but a while ago. And they're, they're a pest. And um, yeah, they have an annual wallaby hunt. Which is cool, and you get to, they have competitions where you carry them and do all sorts of stuff and even kids carrying wallabies like a hundred meter race carrying a dead dead pest 
uh, good old Kiwi action. Some riders here. So yeah, we've just gone through Waimere, uh, and then we've turned right up to this road, and uh, we'll be working our way, um, I believe, I'm not sure if it's the bit that's been felled or not, but um, up over this forestry area, uh, down into some farms. Just working through into the start of the forestry bit now. It's quite classic because um, up the North Island with massive cyclone devastation. Down here, it's, it's a full-on drought. Um, really dry. Beautiful day, man, eh? We just had to stop for a pit stop there. Are you alright? Oh shit! Hey, uh, Matt, Dan's crashed. Yeah, uh, uh, Dan's come off. What? What happened? Oh yeah. Fuck. Are you alright? I'll give you your bike up, mate. Just come out of nowhere, did it? Did you have? Oh, you got some money down there. So, is that yours? Coins. Did you have a fuel? Yep. Thanks. Oh, it's gone for a bit. Did you go over the handlebars? So we've had our first off. Dan was coming through here and hit this hole and, and didn't see it in the dust. Um, but luckily he's not too bad, just a bit of a sore wrist. So yeah, that part of the adventure, hey? How are you right, mate? Are you good? Oh shit. Mate, wanna come back over, Matt? He's, he reckons he's got a hole in his radiator. That's pretty good.
to do and keep running, obviously. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, so yeah, we're here. Um, Dan thinks he might have a hole in his radiator, so we've stopped. Couldn't really see where it was. He's filled up with water and he's gone on, and we're just going to monitor it. Um, hopefully, we can sort it. Bit average that riding. <laughs> There's Dan. Do you see water in there? I see bubbles. Bubbles. On the road again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. <laughs> We've got a joke yet uh, at home, Matt. With uh, when we go, we do so many road trips and shit. And um, when we go past somewhere, was like, oh, we're peed there. Oh, we're peed there. And then it's like uh, Ben goes, I peed everywhere, man. <laughs> Across the desert, lead, man. <laughs> Dan here is just nursing his bike back to Kurao and then we're gonna um, take his tank off. He thinks he knows where the radiator leak is coming from. So fingers crossed that the impact on the tank has just pushed uh, one of the hoses a little bit and it's leaking out of it. Uh, but, uh, we'll see. Here we go, get some gas. Check that out guys, you get race gas here. I wonder how much octane that is. I'll stick with premium. Here on the last day. Oh no, you don't. Well, you will. You'll come down past Kuria. What's going on there, Dan? That's pissing out. You've got a few water issues here. Water issues? So the pollen's on the motor instead of inside the motor. Oh, mate. That's not ideal, is it? But I'm going to scrub away your little. See if I can fix it. You know. Oh, there we go. See you, mate. Fingers crossed he can sort it. But I think it's a good idea. I don't know if I'd want to do the Awakino anyway on that. Yeah. But uh, he's going to get on the blower and see if he can find a radiator. Yeah, your blinkers on, mate. Yeah. Now, is, that, is it the valley right in front of us? Yeah. 
I'm just gonna go for a piss, mate. I'll just go, I'll just go through to the next gate, take a piss. I'm just gonna back off. Yeah, he's stuck. I normally go that way, to be honest. I normally stick to the left. Yeah, every time, eh? So it was a good test this one, like if you can get up this, you it does get steep and hard, but if you can get up this, you're sweet. Okay. My um, clutch finger hand is sore. I'll turn back and take a video of you. Oh mate, that's all right. You're still on the bike. There we go. I'll give you. A, I'll give you a push. Oh fuck! Whoa, 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 whoa. Ready? Sweet. <laughs> yeah. Use those steak pigs. Oh, that's the bit that, um, Dave. And that's the corner that I got on my bike, trying to gas up. You were at this corner here, and then I was hooning, trying to find Dave. And then, didn't realize, but I should have, knowing I didn't catch up, but, but
Prozent. Oh, das hier. Okay. Looks like he's gonna get it. All good. Just had a moving dismount, mate. <sighs> yeah. What you hit? You all right? I'm so. Ready? Three, two. Sweet. Do you want to go out there and um, pull? You just wanted to one up my one, didn't you? <laughs> Do you want to make sure it's a neutral, mate, and we'll just roll it? Yeah, yeah. Is it a oh. <laughs> Three. I can start it. Oh, yeah. That help. Yeah. Hang on, now let me get a footing. Ready? Three, two, one. Do it again. Yeah. Hang on. Let me get under it again. It's slippery. I get you hot. Well, that's the hard stuff, Dan. <laughs> oh, I wish. Oh, did you? Going to the DR is a shocker for that, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> nice.
made it. I was just about to talk about. No. Because it didn't look that bad. Yeah. Okay. I think I need to adjust my idle screw a bit. Because I seem to be fucking going faster than I want just idling. <laughs> All good? Thank you James and Tim Thank you Yeah, no, all good. The pig shit in. <sighs> nice. I'm putting Jägermeister in here. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> There's still a bottle of Jägermeister in there that's like three quarters full. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I did move over to the right lane, uh, wheel right by accident at one point, but I popped back. Oh. Nice bike, man. It's awesome, eh? Yeah. It would hum along. Yeah. Me? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Fucking rookie. Right. In... Oh, I'm right in front of James too. It's like fuck. Yeah, because they were there for probably a little while before we actually saw them, eh? Nice. Something's dead.
So if you can see that uh, track in the distance guys, um, that's where we're coming down and, and working our way up there. Cool mate. So we're going to drop way down, down there, we're going to go over there, uh, you can see a bike by the eye, don't know if you can see on the camera, but uh, coming through the end now, for this section, and now uh, we're going to drop, drop down. The trick with these uh, loose stones is just keep your momentum and try and skim over. Cute, nice and relaxed and fluid. It's not too bad here, but it was quite deep back there. Ida Valley. Okay guys, so we've made it through the Awakino. We're down and out the other side now. Everything's going well. Um, got pretty hot up there, eh, mate? <laughs> Fucking ass. But it was all good. Onwards and upwards. Oh, that breeze is good, eh? Woo! Cool down a bit. Oh, don't go down there. So guys, we just uh, strategically got in front of all those riders to get out of the dust. I don't reckon that guy did do the Alakino. Yeah.
Yeah. It's raining. <laughs> Tripped on a rock. You alright? Oh, no, I was talking to a fucking guy. There's a guy on a uh, um, Africa twin. Oh. Thank you. Here for Matt. Right. Nice. Okay guys, so we are in Cromwell and we have done just under 400 k's and what's the time? Nearly 20 past 4. So we're gonna, hopefully we're gonna get to Alex before 6. Oh man! So now we're just climbing up here above um, Cromwell and we get real close to the Nevis actually when we get to the top. Um, one thing I've done on this ride is I my foot hit a rock uh, going through the Awakino and it's twisted my ankle but it also twisted my knee and man it is sore eh? So, Bit worried about that, um, especially for tomorrow. Hopefully, I can walk. Um, so I'm going to get anti-inflammatory and uh, painkillers, but I can take weight on it. Riding position, it's just it even hurts to put up the kickstand and lift my leg. So fingers crossed, it's okay. But what a magic day! Um, Got an update for Dan. He couldn't fix his radiator and he's decided to bow out. Um, they didn't want to risk getting stuck and he couldn't get a spare radiator in time. Um, so it's unfortunate. Uh, but I've got to do some of it with him. Oh yeah, there's still one more of mine coming. Oh, yeah. yeah, oh here he is.
Okay guys, so tomorrow when we come, um, we're actually going to be sort of over that way. Um, that's where the Nevis is. And then now we're just going to hook around those, these rocks, which are pretty cool, and then hook our way down <coughs> towards Alexandra. All good, mate. Yep. Oh, is it? Nice. What's that? Okay guys, so there's a town down there. I believe that is Alex. Our ending point. At the moment I've done 448k and it's 5.30. section for today. Now we're just going to drive, uh, ride, I should say, not drive, ride to Alex. Okay, so this is Alex and it is uh, 5.43 Fuck, it's all my leg, man. So it's all to do this. Oh. Well done, mate. Cheers, mate. Oh. We made it. Woo. Woo it was. Hey, guys. So, yeah, we made it. This is our hotel. Or motel. Um, bikes will go out here. Um, people are starting to come in. Um, it's all good. I was wrong with the um, my math. About 11 and a half hours, not 10 and a half, so 11 and a half hours. Um, so yeah, long ride. So now we're gonna have a shower, get it, um, some food and some beer, and then get into some bike prep. And uh, we're all good, man. What an awesome day. Matt did awesome. Um, yeah, it was awesome. We hadn't done a long ride like this since we did it last time, like three years ago, so. Um, didn't realize how long it was, but I remember now. <laughs> anyway, we'll uh, go and do what we need to do. <laughs> so we're just here, um, just did our air filters, a um, few beers, I don't know what Duffy's doing with the knife, but some sort of tool, I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, so everyone's good, we just did our chain lube, and a um, bunch of DRs and stuff here, it's all, it's all sweet. Okay, yeah, so we're staying at the Centennial Court, it's always a popular place. 
thought I'd just do a bit of a work, walk around and check out the bikes. DRZs. KTM, that's KTMs. What have we got here? Looks like a 350. Nice. Venture. Six days, another DRZ. Sweet. It's like a couple of tenor rays. Oh, three. Man, these are hard to get in the US. Um, it's a bike that I would be keen to try one day. What's that one? Is that an 890 adventure? Don't know. I've got one of these at home. WR250R. What's he done on it? Sweet. DR650, some KTMs. Awesome. And now, uh, just we met up with these, these lads here. Real group, good group of guys. Um, some funny stories. But uh, yeah, look at these DRs and stuff. Looks mint. Uh, a bit different, but we're trying Check these ones out. Another Tenere. DR650, DR650, DR650. They're the bike to be. The bike of the future, mate. That's right. And the past. They'll never die. And look, what have we got here? So there's a. WR250R by the looks. No, no, sweet. Now we're all chilling out and um, ready for tomorrow. So, a few beers, a good New Zealand beer, and um, yeah, get into it.